Hey everybody, thought uh, I would go ahead and revisit one of these first strike rations. It was one of my very first vids and I have to admit it, it definitely wasn't uh, anywhere near the best that I could have done. So the first one I had was menu number one and this is let's see if we can get in there, menu number three. And I'll take a picture of the content so you can get a better look. But Okay, cut this thing open, and uh, we'll go through it. These don't have a like an easy peelable seal, kind of like on the old school ones. It's just a notch. Man, look at that! And let's take a look. You can see this is designed for 24 hours and to be eaten on the move. Uh, in most cases there are some things that you are going to have to prepare so it just takes a second you know your break or whatever but here we do we have uh, three ounces of albacore white tuna zapple sauce it's got multidextrin in it let's see if I can see a date code on this date code of I don't know, I'm guessing 2011, 2011 on the 215th day. First strike ration energy bar. Chocolate banana nut dessert bar. one of those Bridgeford sandwiches. This one is, what is it? Honey and barbecue beef. Where is that thing at? There we go. Honey and barbecue beef. Some grape beverage powder. Man, pretty good glare in here today. It's always a challenge to get lighting down. What in the oh another first strike energy ration bar. This is cran raspberry flavor. Just did one of these and uh another ration. I think it was in the, the MCW that I just did. MRE spoon. Spice pound cake. And in another one of these drink pouches, it says lemon lime beverage powder. Have the accessory packet going in a second. Nut fruit mix. When was this package? Any decodes on this? I don't see any decodes. Here we go. It's stamped in there. 2011 on the 214th day. We have a package of tortillas. Crackers. This should be kind of interesting. The crackers are kind of warped. I've never seen that before, so... The seal is still intact, and we still have those nice little ridges to let you know that it's airtight. This is a resealable, disposable bag. So once you open this up, you have something to go ahead and place the remainder of your items in. It just has a simple zip seal, opens right up. And then when you're done, uh, you can dispose of all your garbage. And finally, we have the, the beef jerky or the beef sticks. And this is two different flavors. There's barbecue and teriyaki flavor in here. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessory packet. All right, here we got the accessory packet. 
FSR for a strike ration. And this was on 2011 on the 341st day. Air pole. This one doesn't have any little any little tear. But oh, here they are. They're on the other side. Uh, so here we go. Dump all this stuff out. All right, the first thing we have is some cheese spread. The Dario Instant Coffee. MRE matches. Packet of salt. Here's our creamer. Moist towelette number one, number two, and number three. Packet of sugar. Some MRE toilet paper. And somebody asked if I could just pull this out and show them what it looked like. Uh, there's two types. There's either multiple sheets or there's one great big huge thing and this one individual sheets so uh, one ply so you if you use this stuff for latrine paper <laughs> be sparing all right the first strike gum and cinnamon flavor there's six five or six little pellets in here and then we have the chiclet gum and finally, fat-free mayonnaise that will go along with our tuna. So there you go. That is what we have for the accessory packet. All right, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and make is the tuna. So we'll open up our tortillas. Make sure we take that off. Try to open them very gently so they don't break apart. And there we go, two tortillas. We're going to mix our fat-free mayonnaise really good. We recall this is three-year-old stuff, so... And there's one ounce or 28.35 grams in here. doesn't want to rip. <laughs> Smells okay, looks okay. Place that on the tortillas for a second. And then our tuna. Simple retort pouch with a tear pull. Alright, what I'm going to do to mix this up nice and good, I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in the bowl. Making sure I get all of it out because every gram and ounce counts. Especially when you're in a field and you're starving. Mayonnaise. And I'm going to put a dash of salt in there as well. Not a lot, just a little bit. Okay, we've given it a good mix, take a little bit out, place it right in our tortilla shell, probably about half the contents, and we'll go ahead and plate this in just a minute. 
and most likely what I would have with my tuna, just for some contrast, I go in it and have my crackers and my cheese. So let's see if we can hear this iconic hiss. There we go. There it was. Pull it up. Oh, it looks like the crackers have not suffered very well. A few little crumbly bits, but it had a good curve to it anyway. They still taste pretty good. Need up the cheese real quick. It's pretty good. On to the next thing. All right, the only other things that we have to go ahead and prepare are the drinks. And each one of these takes 12 ounces of water, and this is a coffee cup full, uh, approximately six to eight ounces of water. So let's go ahead and get this started. All right, we'll go ahead, we'll start with the coffee. Go ahead, put in our packet of Dario instant coffee. It's kind of like Folgers crystals kind of stuff. Put in some sugar. And of course, some creamer. I'm going to bottle of hot water over here. And let's give it a stir with something. Alright, let's set this aside and get these two going. Alright, we'll start with a grape. And like we said, 12 ounces of water. And you can see 12 ounces of water pretty much fills this bag up. Now the purpose behind these little cutouts is so you can actually hold this and you can drink directly from this bag. However, we're going to use a glass. Alright, now we'll go ahead and we'll do the same with the lemon and lime. 12 ounces, and for those of you on the metric system, it's about 400 mil. And again, seal top. Give it a good beasting. And we'll pour it right in the glass. Okay, well we already did the tuna fish, we already did the crackers, and we put a little cheese on the crackers. So let's go ahead, let's open up the rest of this stuff, and we'll see what it looks like. We'll start off with a nut and fruit mix. It's 
It's got an O2 absorber in there. Of course, it had to come out right in my hand. So there we go. This has peanuts, walnuts, sunflower seeds, almonds, dried wild blueberries. So that's pretty much what that is right there. A dried wild blueberry. Next thing we'll take a look at is, what is this? The chocolate banana nut dessert bar. And you can see uh, when these things go under pressure, it leaves a lot of residue on the outside. And the mocha flavor first strike energy bar. This one is kind of different than this one. This is kind of more like a cliff bar, and this one more is kind of like a chocolate type of bar. Spice pound cake. Absorber. And what else we got? Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. Energy Bar. This is the beef jerky sticks. What's that? One is supposed to be barbecue, and the other one is supposed to be teriyaki flavor. So there's no real indication on the wrapper which one is which. So just have to use your imagination and your taste buds. They are a little greasy, like if you open up a Slim Jim or something like that. So it could make... That one is probably the teriyaki one. What else we have? Then we have the Bridgeford Sandwich. And again, these Shelf Stable Bread. And lastly, some apple sauce. Like I said, just apple sauce with maltodextrin in it. You can eat it right out of this little spout or pour it right on the plate. All right. Uh, the last few things, we have some first strike gum. pieces four pieces yeah five pieces like I said this just has caffeine and it's just caffeinated gum and then lastly is the chiclets all right and then we've already made our drinks our beverages and we've got our coffee so let's go ahead and uh, I'm not going to eat all this, but I'll give it a nice little sample. We'll start off with the Bridgeford sandwich. And again, these have been reviewed. It's just got some honey filling inside, honey barbecue filling. And the bread is a lot softer from the previous ration that I've had. So it is a little dry, but you could always use your cheese or something like that to put on it as well. To go ahead and give it a little a little kick. Alright, the next thing we're going to go ahead and try 
is the tortillas with tuna fish. See, they've always got a split. They fold them so the split will always tear. But if you want something else on here, you can always put the cheese on here too. I would love it if uh, this ration had a crushed red pepper or, or some pepper period to add to the taste. The only thing I did was just add a little bit of salt. Pretty much just tastes like tuna fish on a, well, kind of old tortilla. We'll just work our way down. This is that Crayon Raspberry First Strike Ration Bar. It's got that nice chewy texture. And this one is the teriyaki beef stick. And it's really soft. Uh, you don't have to use much force to, to get it off. Kind of like a Slim Jim, pretty much. So by process of elimination, if that's the barbecue one, or maybe that's the, maybe the one I got right now is barbecue and this is the teriyaki, I'll find out. Well, to be honest, I can't tell you. Neither one of them really tastes super barbecue-y or a uh, big blast of teriyaki. So I guess the jury is still out on that. And then this is the spiced pound cake that is unbelievably crumbly so maybe you need your sanitation wipes to eat that um, alrighty then this is the mocha first strike ration bar pretty tasty. I, I kind of uh, like the cran, cran raspberry one more. Just, I don't know why. Just personal All right, preference. now let's go ahead and do the, what was this? Chocolate banana dessert bar. Well, I was expecting to be, have something inside of there, but there's some little flakes of that's probably a little flakes of banana in there. After you chew it a second, you can kind of get the banana taste. But, well, okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. And then here is the apple sauce. Pretty much just like any applesauce you've ever tried, but this is just fortified. And even though this is room temperature, and it's been sitting in the bag for three years. It still tastes pretty darn good. So, cool with that. Let's go ahead and try to get some of these peanuts and blueberries in here. I've got zapple sauce everywhere. Just if you look in there, you can see some walnuts, peanuts, and the dried blueberries. All right. Well, let's try the grape drink. There's a hint of grape flavor in there. Usually, the lemon lime has the punch. Yes, sir. And lastly, and personally, I usually have my coffee after I get done chowing a lot of this stuff. So, this is the Dario coffee with uh, the creamer and the sugar. Mm -hmm. Here we go. 
And that's the caffeine gum and the chiclets. I'm going to leave the chiclets alone right now, but we'll try the caffeine gum. Well, everybody, this is a recap on a first strike ration menu number three. Thanks for watching.